Today we take another important step towards improving the lives of the people who live in this part of Northeast Florida as we begin phase two of our project, a new 92 bed inpatient hospital. It means that even if you need a hospital stay, you can do it right here, closer to your home. Uh, this addition means an opportunity for this community to have an asset that it hasn't had before. Uh, for the community to be able to know that they can come just off the interstate and come here uh, means that they will have quality health care, uh, they will have easy access, and it will be closer to their homes. Today is both a groundbreaking ceremony to celebrate our pioneering endeavor here, but it is also breaking new ground for the patients and the community we serve. We actually know it was an underserved area because as we've started, which has been nine months now, our volumes have progressively increased. We're, we're seeing over a hundred a day in the emergency room. We're going to have the best uh, equipment, but most importantly, as I promised everybody, we're going to continue to have the best people working in this, and we're going to deliver hospitality. It's a huge enterprise with almost 6,000 uh, employees across the whole uh, system. Uh, we also are the third largest training uh, center in the state of Florida for graduate uh, medical education residents and fellows. One of the patients uh, who was seen who'd had surgery in the ambulatory surgical center here uh, actually said he was looking forward to a follow-up surgery which uh, is, is just unheard of. You know I have a very emergency medicine centric viewpoint. I think we've been able to provide a great service to the community by seeing already over 100 patients a day. But currently, most, many of the patients that I see, uh, particularly those that require admission to the hospital, um, say to me almost every time, boy, I wish there were hospital beds here. And uh, so that's obviously the, the most important thing we'll be able to be, provide. Uh, really quality care, uh, the same that you can expect from UF Health everywhere. But right here on campus, and it will increase our capabilities a great deal. Uh, even from the emergency department perspective. We'll be able to take on much sicker kinds of patients because we'll have a home for them here. We'll have critical care beds available. We'll have operating rooms immediately available. And there won't be the logistics of trying to arrange safe transfers for patients to other facilities. Yeah, this is a new beginning for us. Uh, phase two with uh, the groundbreaking for the 92 beds. This is a uh, is the next step to make this a full service location so that our patients uh, who uh, present here or who are seen here that needed to be admitted to a hospital can stay here, uh, really here on this site uh, and receive the, all the care they need. If they are uh, uh, really uh, need tertiary care then we can transfer them to 8th Street. So it's just a, a, a continuation of our ability to provide health care to the people in uh, northern Jacksonville. Great, great day. Weather's great, events even greater. This hospitality that we created here is all centered around our patients and their families. And that's what this is all about. It's making sure that we're going to give you guys a level of service that is going to be second to none. And when we build this next tower, which we're going to, we're breaking ground today, you can't beat that. We're going to have 92 beds and a staff, and a staff that will be hand chosen to make sure that they're going to continue to deliver the quality, the hospitality that you're getting today. So now at this point in time, I'd like to invite uh, Russ and the Dean, and let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's move some dirt.